I just got out of this elevator. Just me and this other 50 year oldish guy in the elevator just straight up farts next to me. I don't know what flavor it is, so I'm just gonna have to find out. First day of work, let's go. Oh shit, the train's highly crowded. Oh my god, it have been hacksawed. Somebody called the cyber police. Happy first day of teaching. Can we cut? Can we do a take two? I don't know these people. A lunchbox alley. This share tea mango. Just finished teaching my first class. I'm not gonna talk about my work here because I keep it pro fresh. In fact, you might even say pro fresh. My right hand trembles a lot more than my left hand, so I would hold it on my left side now. I haven't worked a 9 to 5 job since last summer. Six hours of classes. I have a greater appreciation for high school teachers now. I now understand why my AP US teacher just played the Colbert Report every single day. It's much easier than teaching. So I kind of have a canker sore in my mouth, which makes it hard to like enunciate. And Vienna, how'd that happen? This is Teppanyaki with Ted from Taiwan. Hi, Ted again. Hello, hello. And Ted got me this fresh soy milk that is really good. And some yotao. Yeah, I'm glad that we like it. Okay, we are in the Sudan night market. Hi, Ted again. <laughs> I'm going to be in your country, Lois. Yes, <laughs> he's gonna come find me. This is the NTU main library. We're gonna go inside. I just slept nine hours. I am the jet lag god. I'm ready to sleep more eating this dragon fruit straight up. I like to keep it raw. Dragon fruit is a fruit pretty common in Asia. It has a really mild flavor. Not sure what I'm eating, but it's pretty good. Yeah, one of the really good things about Taiwan is you don't have to worry about your food f***ing you up, like in China, where pretty much everything you eat could probably kill your stomach. This is like a lunchbox alleyway. A lunchbox is exactly what it sounds like. For about two USD, you get rice. You get to pick four veggies slash side dishes and then one meat. Someone like me whose favorite food is rice, it's like the shit. Not shit, like the shit. Um, in January... I'll shit, my camera's on, okay. All right, I'm in this big chain called Moss Burger, which I see everywhere. I'm going with Larry, who doesn't want to be on the camera. <laughs> I got a Yaki Nuku burger, and it has rice patties as buns. Na -na 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 -na. Uh, it's raining pretty hard. I'm gonna run to practice. I just got myself a plastic raincoat for a dollar. The definition of swag, ladies. I'm at Ban Chao Station. Basically, there's no practice at Taipei Main, so I'm gonna go check out Ban Chao, which is like 15 minutes away by subway. We see a lot of young people practicing there, like high schoolers, with really good power. It's in New Taipei, so this is actually my first time in New Taipei City. Holy shit, this is a huge practice spot. There's like six dance studios worth of things behind me. Except these are all non people so I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> Taking a quick water break from practice. Holy shit, my hands are trembling. I'm so nervous. No, I'm kidding. Uh, my hands are just tired. Bottom line, Taiwanese b-boys, maybe Taiwanese people in general, are insanely friendly. I feel like I practice in a bunch of countries around the world, but like I'm over the top blown away. I'm blown over the top away. I'm blown away by how friendly Taiwanese b-boys are. I've been hanging out with b-boy Xiaoyu which is like little fish and bread. I finally learned what it feels like to do an actual air chair, which is kind of a shaming because I've been practicing it for a couple months. It feels way different from what I've been doing. I'll show you some footage. And I got a lot of flare help. Got a lot of flare help in the past, so this was definitely the most flare help I've received. I think like they're not afraid to like super show you and hold you exactly what your muscles should be like. Brown Trail Station is like 15 minutes away. It'll cost me like a dollar a day, but I'm definitely coming here for practice for now on. Taipei Main Station is kind of dead too. Shirtless party. Cool, 
I just rode home with Boy Yang, who's a college student in Singapore in Taiwan for the summer. So practice was pretty chill. We hung out, we talked about culture, exchanged practice habits, talked about b-boying in Asia. This is what cultural exchange is all about. Subway. So, okay, two closing interesting notes that I wanted to mention. First was there were also two Taiwanese high school students at the practice. They were pretty humble, pretty quiet. They'd never heard the English name California before. So they heard of Jatsol, but when I was like, uh, I'm from California, they're like, what is California? Second thing, one of the b-boys got in a car accident. He said it took him four years to recover. He had bleeding in his brain and he had to get surgery. And so when I told him about my concussion, he was like, you have to be super careful. Like, you can't practice shit on your head. For the first time since I've gotten a concussion, b-boy had told me or seemed to understand how careful you have to be. I feel like I had like a million things to say about this practice, but I'm actually super happy. I feel like now that I found a good practice spot that's consistent with music, Taipei actually feels like home. I go home, I can come out and train, etc. Thank you to the Taiwanese b-boys. Culture is currency. Ah!